Hi, this is Sean Beasley, and I wanted to do a short video on up upgrading uh, OTRs from 3.0 to 3.1 in connection with the old Master Slave package. Now, this Master Slave package was changed and uh, wasn't migratable until just recently. When you've upgraded your framework from OTRS 3.0 to 3.1, dynamic fields will now be replacing free text fields. The old master slave package um, is not available anymore and it's not upgradable directly from the repository. Once you've upgraded the package, uh, once you've upgraded the framework, you'll see that there's a bunch of uh, errors here and this is generally acceptable. Um, you just have to refresh your repository information and when the repository is refreshed then you can install the versions that are now available for OTRS in the new version. Here we have a problem though because the master slave um, isn't upgradable due to the package name and some conflicts that'll, that will arise. Now in the version 1.2.6 they've uh, solved a problem that we had and the problem was the um, free text fields weren't being migrated properly and therefore the ticket uh, information about the old master slave tickets were no longer available. The package now takes care of this issue, but there's a couple of things you need to be warned of. So once you've done the migration, if we go to the to the admin section and look at dynamic fields, then we will see that during the migration, text uh, ticket free text 12 and ticket free text key are both set to invalid. Now the keys aren't going to be used anymore by the dynamic fields, but the free text values are going to be used. So we cannot delete these two keys at this time. There's a bug in the package that if these two keys are gone, uh, that the package won't install properly as well. But you wouldn't want to delete these in any case because these are the ones that contain the information that we're looking for for the migration. So what happens is when we go back to our package manager, in order to make sure that we have all of our old uh, ticket free text information and it migrates properly, we need to go ahead and uninstall the master slave package. It won't remove any of the data, it'll just remove the Perl modules and the uh, configuration items that were used during the migration. Once this is properly in uninstalled, we can go back and install the newest version, the 1.2.6 from the OTR's master slave package, which will then run a script finding any old linked information out of the database and properly migrating these. So we'll click on install. Once the package has been installed, it will appear down here at the bottom. And if we go back to our dynamic field section, We will now see that the master slave um, dynamic field has been added. And if we click into the master slave, we'll see that it's a drop down value. There's no default value. And now I've got some tickets that I had uh, created previously in order to show uh, the effects of this migration script. This was a master ticket, for example. If we go back into our master ticket, we'll see that this is a master ticket. It's got a child object and this child object is linked as a slave of and when we go ahead and um, yeah, OTRS doesn't like the back button when we then go in and close the master slave ticket for example now we have to click on the right link and we can go back a little bit on the child object and we'll see that the child object was also closed successfully. So I hope this video helps you with your upgrade to OTS 3.1 in conjunction with the master slave. Thanks.